Hi there, and welcome for another video. This time we will be cooking stir-fried prawns with garlic. It is very easy to cook and yet very tasteful. The fried garlics give intense flavor to the dish that would really surprise you. It is one of my most favorite dish growing up, mainly because it's not spicy. And there you go. If you don't eat spicy food, that's the Thai dish for you. All right, let's go and see how we cook it. We'll begin with the start of the dish. I used the whole garlic for this dish. Start by cutting out the base of garlic as we don't want them. Use the side of your knife to crush them up. This will make it easier to peel. When peeling, you don't have to get all the skins out. Just remove the thicker ones is okay. The skin also contributes to some flavor. I use pesto and mortar to mince garlic. Put a thick cloth under the mortar. It will help reduce the noises. You don't want your neighbor complaining. Using pesto and mortar will bring out more flavor, but you can also mince it with knife too. Try aiming for this kind of consistency. Next up is trim. We don't need the head, so just twist and pull it out. From the side next to its leg, use your thumb to pull the shell out. Do this to the entire body and the rest should come out easily. Note that we will leave the tail in. Here's a pro trip. Freeze the shrimp head for later use. It is great for soups. Now back to prepping shrimps. Use your knife to make a slight incision along the back of the body. Be careful and don't cut your fingers with this. This incision makes the shrimps look nicer and it will expose the intestinal tract that you can remove. It is not a must and it will not impact the taste, but it will make the dish look nicer. One last note for the shrimp. We can use frozen ones, but make sure to defrost it properly. We don't want liquid when frying. Now let's start cooking. I prefer steel wok as it browns easier, but as usual, you can use non-stick pan too. Put in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use even more and it will make frying garlic easier, but I don't like too much oil. I make one fried egg as it goes well with the dish, but this is optional. Use high heat for this. Thai fries our egg using a lot of oil and we don't flip it, but use your spatula to scoop up some hot oil to the top sides to cook it. By not flipping it and lots of oil, you'll get very crispy bottom. It is super good. Use the rest of the oil, reduce gas to medium low, and put in minced garlic. Stir it once in a while, and don't let one side burn. Be patient with it, and it will produce amazing results. Use a spoon to take out garlic that sticks to your spatula. We want all of them to fry up evenly. I cook mine for about 5 minutes, but it really depends on your stove. However, as a guide, just look for yellowish brown color. Don't brown it too much though, because the residual heat will cook it after we get it out from the wok. Continue with the oil. Turn gas to high and put in our shrimps. Move it around so that it cooks evenly. At this point, it will smell amazingly good. That's why we leave the tail in. The grilled skin gives very pleasant smell. When the shrimp is almost cooked, turn down the gas and we will put in our sauces. 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce. Half a tablespoon of fish sauce. And a quarter of teaspoon of sugar. Add some water if the wok is too dry. Then add about half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. Lastly, put in our fried garlic. Leave some for the final garnish. Mix well, and we are ready to eat. Whoa, sorry. I forgot that we are not yet done. 
So I hope it's easy enough for you to find all the ingredients in your local markets. Try it yourself and let me know what you think in the comment section. And also before I go, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my future videos. For that, I'll see you next time. สวัสดีครับบ๊ายบาย